You don't give them the same education. You ghettoize them. You put them in the outside of the suburbs. You don't give them jobs. At every single opportunity, you shut the doors on their faces. This crime that occurred, the teacher that was killed, it had nothing to do with the books of fiqh. And it had everything to do with how you treat your own Muslim community. I'm not justifying, I am contextualizing. Freedom of speech applies when a minority speaks to the majority. Freedom of speech applies when those that are bullied have the freedom to speak out against those that bully them. When truth is spoken to power, that is freedom of speech. When the president, when a country, when an army act like thugs and they teach their own people to hate a minority, to have bad things about the minority. This is not freedom of speech. This is nothing but thuggery. This is nothing but an incitement of hatred. Freedom of speech does not apply over here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Glorified be Allah, the Rabb of the throne and the Lord of the creation. He sent to us a messenger whose very praise is embodied in his name. Allah chose him to deliver his final message, a prophet for each and every nation. And he performed his task with sincerity, seeking no money, nor power, nor fame. He was the Sadiq, he was the Amin. His manners won him universal admiration. Through his efforts and sacrifice, the victory of Islam was proclaimed. By following his teachings, we achieve universal salvation and it is his intercession for which we aim. His persona was more beautiful than the full moon, the embodiment of perfection. So honor belongs to those who follow him and to his detractors shall be nothing but shame. Dear Muslims, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to have taqwa of him when he says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu attaqu Allah haqqa tuqatih wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimoon. We are all painfully aware of what is happening in the land of France, the land that claimed to champion the freedom of liberal values, the freedom of liberty and of equality and of universal rights. We are seeing this campaign, this brutal, xenophobic, Islamophobic campaign against our Nabi and our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam all under the guise of the freedom of speech, all as a result of a reaction of one unfortunate incident. And they are using that incident of the beheading of one teacher for doing something to cause this entire campaign against our Nabi and our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this reminded me of an incident in the seerah when some of the Sahaba were sent by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to have an expedition of looking, of spying, not of causing any harm. And some things happened and they caused the death of one or two of the Qurayshis. They caused the death of some of the Quraysh in the sacred lands, in the Haram of Mecca. It was not something that was planned, but it happened. The Quraysh made a very big campaign, PR campaign. Look at these Muslims, they don't honor the Haram of Allah. Look at these Muslims, they flout the commandments of Allah. In the Haram, they take a life. And they launched a very vicious PR campaign against the Muslims. Allah revealed in the Quran a verse that shows us how we deal with these two sets of grievances. They ask you about fighting during the sacred months and the sacred lands. They ask you about Qital. Allah says, what happened is a kabir. It is not right to kill an innocent soul. It is not right to kill in the haram. It is not right. It is wrong what happened. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it is a kabir what the sahaba did. But Allah did not stop there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala went on and he listed the grievances of the Muslims against the Quraysh. That was saddun an sabihillahi wa kufrun bihi wa ikhraju ahlihi minhu akbaru inda Allah to block people from coming to the haram and to expel people from worshiping Allah 
and to kill people because they are Muslims and to reject Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is far bigger of a crime than one life that was caused at the hands of the Muslims and then Allah says well fitna to ashaddu min al-qatil and all the chaos that you are causing O Quraysh this is far bigger than one qatil that you are complaining about this is the justice of Allah and we learn from that justice we say loudly and clearly that it is not allowed to kill a soul in the lands that we live in. It is not allowed to enact vigilante justice. It is not allowed to read a book of fiqh and then think you are applying the sharia in a land that the sharia is not applied. This is not allowed. We unequivocally state this without any shame, without any embarrassment. The truth is the truth. What happens in these lands, this is the political freedom that is given and all that we can do is verbally speak against it. But at the same time, for France as a superpower, for the country, for the nation, for the president to use this incident and then to rub it in and to broadcast images that are derogatory, demeaning of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in large billboards across the country, taking the largest buildings of the city and then portraying those images 24-7, reprinting those cartoons, making a criminal act to criticize the publication of those cartoons, to merely express anger becomes a critical act, to come and shut down over 70 masajid as what happened in France, to have a lockdown on so many charities because they are not part towing the party line they're not accepting this crackdown so the secret police are coming in and arresting people for verbally criticizing the tactics please spare me this double standards this is not about freedom of speech not at all freedom of speech applies when a minority speaks to the majority freedom of speech applies when those that are bullied have the freedom to speak out against those that bully them when truth is spoken to power that is freedom of speech when the president when a country when an army act like thugs and they teach their own people to hate a minority to have bad things about the minority this is not freedom of speech this is nothing but thuggery this is nothing but an incitement of hatred freedom of speech does not apply over here less than seven percent of France is Muslim less than seven percent don't tell me that the 90 percent are intimidated they're not going to speak their freedom on the contrary the acts of violence that happen at the hands of Muslims is negligible one act millions of Muslims and one thing these are statistics of any crime any mafia any negative that happens in a community but what is the response the criminalization of the entire religion of Islam the criminalization of any type of criticism of government policies and subhanallah France who are you to lecture us about the freedom who are you to tell us about the crimes of one man? Have you not looked at your own crimes? Have you not looked at your own colonial past? Have you not seen the brutal occupation of Algeria for over 100 years? Millions of people were killed. Not one, not one teacher. Millions of people were killed. Innocent women and children slaughtered. Rape was rampant. Anybody that objected, they were tied on a car and with a handcuff and they were dragged through the streets of Algeria until they died. They said Set up concentration camps way before Hitler. Don't come and tell us about freedom when you yourselves have not embodied that freedom. You get angry at the murder of one man, and yes, that should not have happened, but you do not look at what you yourselves are doing to an entire population. Millions of people in your own lands who carry the same passports, third, fourth, fifth generation of North African descent. They are in your lands because of you and your colonization. Don't blame them. They are there because you needed them to be laborers to be manual workers you brought them in because you colonized their lands now their children great great grandchildren now you discriminate against them you don't give them the same education you ghettoize them you put them in the outside of the suburbs you don't give them jobs at every single opportunity you shut the doors on their faces this crime that occurred the teacher that was killed it had nothing to do with the books of fiqh 
and it had everything to do with how you treat your own Muslim community. I'm not justifying, I am contextualizing. And we need to be brave enough to say this. The murder that happened was wrong, but it was not a murder that came from the books of fiqh. This was a murder that came from the anger of how you are treating millions of your own citizens. This is not a justification, it is a contextualization. And what is the response? You want to make matters worse. This is not how a wise leader acts. You want to cause civil war between your own societies. You want to make a minority feel even less like they belong to that land by flouting everything that is sacred. That is not the way forward, dear friends. That is not the way forward, and us Muslims as well. We have to be very careful. This is a bait. They want more incidents to happen. Realize, dear Muslims, it is a tactic. And I speak of France, but this is the reality across the world, across the Western world. They are waiting. Some of these people, they are praying for yet another terrorist attack. They want it to happen. Why? Because it will give them the authority to clamp down even more. It will give them the authority to demonize the entire Muslim population. So we cannot stoop to their level. Yes, well, Wallahi, it pains us that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is dishonored. Wallahi, we are, our hearts are full of anger, full of disgust, yet we have to act in accordance with the Sharia. And so we will fight their hatred, not with the same type of hatred, but with wisdom. We will fight their tactics by following our Sharia. And the best way to defend the honor of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is to act upon his Sunnah, to preach his message, to show the people how he was rahmah. That is the ultimate way. It is not an easy battle. It's a long-term battle. But if the 7-8% of France, France has the largest population of Muslims anywhere in the Western world, anywhere, the largest population percentage-wise. If that percentage were to return to Islam, be faithful to the teachings of the Sharia, embody the mercy, the rahmah that this religion was about, then that would be the best form of da'wah. And that is the best way to counteract this type of vitriol, this type of hatred. Dear Muslims, I speak of France, but the reality is the same scenario is happening across the world and even here in this land of ours. So learn from the lessons of the past and learn from the benefits of what is happening in the world and make sure that we ourselves do not fall prey to these types of episodes. We have to respond to this hatred with wisdom and dignity like our Prophet ﷺ was commanded. فَصْفَحِ الصَّفْحَ الْجَمِيلِ Turn the other cheek. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we know that it hurts you what they say. فَأَعْرِضْ عَنْهُمْ Turn away from them and Allah azza wa jal will deal with them. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant the Muslims of France and the Muslims of China and the Muslims of Burma and the Muslims of Syria and Muslims all over the world the relief that they so long deserve. Oh Allah, we ask Allah azza wa jal to grant them relief and to relieve them from their stress. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless me and you with and through the Quran and he may May he make us of those who its verses they understand and apply its halal and haram throughout our lifespan. I ask Allah's forgiveness. You as well ask him for he is the Ghafoor and the Rahman. Alhamdulillah, al Wahid, al Ahad, al Samad, al Ladi, lam Yalid, wa lam Yulad, wa lam Yakullahu Kufuan Ahad, wa Ba'du. All we need, dear Muslims, to understand all of this is Surah Al Kawthar. When the Quraysh made fun of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah revealed Surah Al-Kawthar. And I have a whole khutbah about that, you can listen to it online. Inna a'tainaka al-Kawthar. Whatever they say, Allah has honored the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who cares what a human being says when the Lord of humanity has bestowed the fountains of Jannah in the name of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Of what harm will it be if all of mankind rejects him? The Lord of mankind has honored him. So who cares what the French say? Who cares what the, what the Kafir says? Who cares? Inna a'tainaka al-Kawthar. Ya Rasulallah, we have honored you and we've given you the Kawthar of Jannah. Fasalli rabbika wanhar. So your job, our job, my job, we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We pray, we show charity to the poor, we will maintain our Islamic identity, and then Allah consoles the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inna shani'aka huwa al-abtar. Don't worry, I will take care of the one who opposes you. I will take care of the one who makes fun of you. I will take care of the one who is your enemy. Verily, anybody who opposes you, I shall make sure he is cut off from all good, all barakah, all khair, everything will be cut off from him. 
So we need to console ourselves with this surah and realize that Allah Azza wa Jal will deal with the enemies of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Our job is to embody the message of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah make us capable of doing that. Allahumma inni da'in fa'aminu. Allahumma la tad'a fi hadhi dhumi dhamman illa ghafarta wa la hamman illa farrajta wa la daynan illa qadayta wa la maridan illa shafayta wa la asiran illa yassarta. اللهم اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم من أرادنا أو أراد الإسلام والمسلمين بالسوء فأشغله بنفسه واجعل تدميره في تدبيره يا قوي يا عزيز عباد الله إن الله تعالى أمركم بأمر بدأ به بنفسه وثنى بملائكة قدسه وثلث بكم أيها المنون من جنه وإنسه فقال عز من قال عليما إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وأنعم على عبدك رسولك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين عباد الله إن الله تعالى يأمر بالعدل والإحسان ويتائد القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون أذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروا يزد لكم ولذي ذكر الله تعالى أكبر وأقم الصلاة كذبت عاد المرسلين إذ قال لهم أخوهم هود ألا تتقون إني لكم رسول أمين فاتقوا الله وأطيعون